Hey, what's up guys? Gemini, back with another video. And in this video today, I thought we'd take a look at Shawn Michaels' Mr. WrestleMania uh, Blu-ray. So, turn the camera on and we'll take a look at Shawn Michaels' uh, Mr. WrestleMania. Maybe we won't turn the camera on. Maybe I'll just stay on like this and do it. But, let's check it out. Alright, uh, Shawn Michaels' Mr. WrestleMania. Uh, I loved this Blu-ray. Just a fantastic time, and it was really cool what they did on this DVD. Is they put uh, Shawn Michaels up in a hotel room in Pittsburgh, and they had him talk about every single individual one of his WrestleMania matches, except WrestleMania 20, the one with Benoit. And now this one was a good purchase, in my opinion, to buy on Blu-ray just to have all his fantastic WrestleMania matches, including the early ones in Blu-ray format. So I could just go through the WrestleMania matches with you. Well, disc one, walk down memory lane, and that, like I said, that shows him in Pittsburgh in the hotel room when he's seeing all the early matches, such as WrestleMania five versus the Twin Towers. Uh, and that was actually the first WrestleMania match that he did here on disc one, was WrestleMania five. The Rockers vs. Twin Towers, him and Marty Jannetty vs. Akeem and the Big Boss Man. They lost, but Shawn Michaels at that point in his career was just happy to be on the card. Uh, the Popcorn Spot, that's where he talks about WrestleMania 6, the Rockers vs. the Orient Express. And he's, he refers to it as the Popcorn Spot, uh, basically because that's where everyone was coming back from interme intermission with popcorn in their hands. So it was the first match after the intermission at WrestleMania 6. Who would have known that he would have gone on to be Mr. WrestleMania when he was just an average wrestling middle middle of the show guy at WrestleMania 6. Okay, WrestleMania 7, uh, Rockers versus Haku and the Barbarian. And keep in mind these are all in Blu-ray format. WrestleMania 7, the Rockers versus Haku and the Barbarian. This is, the Rockers were outsized in this match, but they won because of their speed and their great chemistry they had with each other in the ring. Uh, yeah, and then they split apart, and he talks about on the DVD how it was time for him and Marty to kind of go their separate ways. Uh, WrestleMania 8, uh, April 5th, 1992, that was actually uh, my first uh, WrestleMania I ordered on pay-per-view, and he beat Tito Santana with Sensational Sherry. Uh, WrestleMania 9 versus Tatanka. And Tatanka won by a let's see the count on DQ. Uh, then they let's see ten. You know, of course the ladder match. And he tells uh, you know great stories on him and Razor Ramon in the ladder match. Uh, Diesel at WrestleMania 11, and Diesel won that match because uh, of the fumbly bumbly referee referred it by Sid. WrestleMania 12 versus Brett, and he tells the story behind it. <clears throat> After that, he tells what a blur it was. So he was on so many drugs and pills, and everything was going so fast in his life. WrestleMania 14 versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. Even though he was wrestling basically with a broken back, he still pulled off a great performance. Uh, WrestleMania 19, the return match at WrestleMania versus Jericho, which pretty much was the best match of the night. Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle from WrestleMania uh, 21, which was outstanding. Uh, they had uh, Angle made him tap out, and that was a great match. WrestleMania 22, Shawn Michaels and Mr. McMahon. I had the fortune of seeing that match live, and it was just, I mean, when Vince was laying on that ladder inside the trash can, and Shawn came off that huge ladder, it was unlike any moment that you could ever imagine. I mean, it, it literally, for a couple seconds there, I had my breath taken away when I saw that. And so to relive it on this DVD is very special. Uh, WrestleMania 23, the main event it versus John Cena. And uh, it's on here, it's in Blu-ray. Perfect, and it was always something I, I put on my resume as a wrestling fan that I got to see Shawn Michaels' main event at WrestleMania. It was to see, to be at WrestleMania 23 and see his performance level. I mean, it was, and basically John Cena was the hot stuff at the time. 
Let me shut that window. The barking dogs. Damn barking dogs next door, I tell you. Okay, so to, to see Shawn Michaels' performance level at WrestleMania 23 live, it was unlike anything you had ever seen. At WrestleMania 24 was the same thing him and Ric Flair's performance level was just off the charts. And then of course you have the two Undertaker matches. My favorite two match series in the history of professional wrestling. Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania 25 in the perfect match. And of course 26 was just the storytelling behind it, how he screwed The Undertaker out of the belt and the belt went to Jericho. And that was probably one of my favorite times in wrestling when him and Undertaker were getting ready to go into 26. I mean, I just remember just being enamored, being a kid again. And that's what this DVD does, is makes you feel like a, a kid again. Blu-ray, there's some Blu-ray exclusive with some interviews and stuff. All in all, Shawn Michaels' Mr. Ray, WrestleMania DVD just, it killed it, it crushed it. It brought me back to my childhood watching the greatest professional wrestler I've ever seen. I've never seen anyone better than Shawn Michaels in wrestling. And to get this DVD on Blu-ray, this is an absolute treasure in my collection. And if you're a Shawn Michaels fan like myself and you grew up with Shawn Michaels, pick this up. Snag this on Amazon. Snag it on eBay. Whatever you need to do to get your hands on Shawn Michaels, Mr. WrestleMania 2 this set because it was extraordinary. Just top notch. So I hope you guys enjoy this review. Sorry about the barking dogs. I'm Gemini. Peace out.